Greetings viewers, a quick look at the new Ubuntu 15.10 Wiley Werewolf. I will be testing this inside a virtual machine with Windows 10 as the host. Yes, I am a Windows user. I dual boot between Windows 10 and different versions of Linux because that's the way I like it. Now, if you are new to this, you may hear some terms, terminology that you don't have a clue. That's okay. It is not required. Just follow me along. You may have some fun. This is the default desktop here. Now, some of the new highlights features of Ubuntu 15.10 are Linux kernel, uh, let's see, 4.2 support for the, for the Steam controller and updated scroll bars. All right, let's take a quick look at this. I wanted to show you, of course, you got different wallpaper here. You can change the size of the icons here to the left. This is a stationary panel here to the left. Oh, I guess something like the old Windows 7 Super Bar, maybe. Let's change the sizes of the shortcuts. I think I'll leave that the way it is. The default buttons are to the left. I prefer them to the right, being right-handed. No big deal. Right-click, close, and I'm good to go. You can rearrange these accordingly. Uh, so I can delete this. Right-click, unlock from launcher. Now, you delete the launcher. You delete the shortcut, but you are not deleting the software. If I wanted to add something there, let's go to, oh, I guess we can call this the start button. It's really the dash. Left click that. How about if we go to, let's try music. And as you can see, it brought up the rhythm box music player and the music folder. But let's say I wanted to add the shortcut to that left panel. Just hold it left trigger on the mouse drag it over and there you go it's that simple click the X here and once again you can rearrange these accordingly so again this is pretty easy the top panel here this gray one here is also stationary let's go to the spoke wheel here I strongly suggest you click Ubuntu help this is the Ubuntu desktop guide very very helpful and important if you are new to the world of Ubuntu Linux. I, lo I looked at this, I think and anyone can certainly read and understand this. I like the picture of the wolf, by the way. Cool. All right, right click and close. There are, when you click the start or the dash, there are some shortcuts right here. I wish this these had preview panes, they don't. But let's go to the second, I believe these are called lenses. Let's go to the second one search applications if we go here where it says install c67 more results in alphabetical order this will show you what is pre-installed in ubuntu 15.10 we can filter results by clicking here let's try internet and of course firefox looks familiar click that of course firefox for both Linux and Windows. Let's go to, uh, let's see, TOS, TOS today. And there we go. I'm right here at the top. The scroll bars have changed. They are no longer hidden. And I believe this is, as you see here, with my little cursor. This is the easier way to scroll up and down versus the old way, in my opinion. All right, let's right click again and close. All right, well, there's certainly a lot more to this than I've showed you. The point I wanted to get at here, if you are a Windows user and want to try something different, I first tried Ubuntu almost, almost 10 years ago. It wasn't really ready for beginners then. It certainly is now, in my opinion. Um, in terms of the latest releases over the last couple of years, a lot really hasn't changed. That is what, uh, what I would say um, ground, groundbreaking, earth shattering, but it doesn't have to be because, because for the most part, these releases have been stable. If you want to install this alongside Windows 10, the virtual machine is probably one of the safest ways to install it and run it. You do not have to give up your Windows 10 or whatever Windows you are running. You can certainly install this as a dual boot, or if you have a spare machine, do a full, a full install for the best possible performance. Performance will suffer a wee, be, a wee bit, not a beat, a wee bit in a virtual machine. If you do wanted to do a dual boot install, install alongside Windows 7 or 
Windows 10. I guess a lot of people still have Windows 7. I recommend you wait for the next release. That will be an LTS release supported for five years. This one is only supported for nine months. So if you install this as a dual boot or as a full install, you're going to have to change it again in nine months. In my opinion, that's, well, nine months comes too quickly. Wait for the next one supported for five years if, after testing this one, you like what you see. I certainly did many years ago. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Vote for October's YouTuber, and don't forget to vote for the best Linux operating system of 2015. Somebody uh, commented, I'm, I'm, I'm only a beginner, can I so, still vote? Of course you can. So just remember, each comment counts as one vote, vote, one vote, one comment. All the links will be below in the show notes. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Stay tuned. The next one, I will take a look at the latest Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu Mate, currently my favorite Linux desktop. Catch you later.